What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of... <clears throat> hmm. Actually, I actually haven't named this channel. Um, when I'm gaming, I do Mikhail Press Start for all other things. I don't really have a name for it. So just bear with me. But we're going to be doing a um, review between which is the best budget 4K TV to use. Especially which one is the best to buy if you're on a tight budget and you're looking to get a 4K TV for, you know, Christmas season since it's a couple weeks away. So we have the options today of the Vizio uh, 4K Ultra HD, the E series, and this is the E4U, E43U model. And this is about 43 inches uh, home theater display as well as the other one which is this Toshiba and this is a 43 inch one as well and the cool thing about both they both have the capability of Chromecast so if you want to use that you know if you're a Google user this is an amazing feature to have now the differences between the two the Toshiba here has three HDMI inputs. Uh, the refresh rate for this one is going to be about 60 hertz. Um, it does have um, one composite, one digital out, one antenna out, USB, uh, LAN, or Ethernet input. Um, it comes with the stands because they, they both have a wide legged stance type of input, which is kind of well for the legs, which is kind of Depending on your setup, they can be a bonus or a minus. For me, it's a little bit, I had to do a little finagling to get that to work. But, okay. This one weighs about, uh, without stand, this one's about 18 and a half pounds. With sand, it's about 19 pounds. Um, this one, information's on the side. So, this one, Weighs about the same. Uh, has four HDMI inputs, one component input. You have a 5.1 digital optical, so this has the optical input, this one does not. Um, and it does have the HDMI arc, so if you're going to use like HDMI uh, 2.0 for like HDR capability, it's definitely going to be great for that. Let's see. Alright, well, that's just about it for that, so it's not wasting time, let's go ahead and get right into it. Do you want to dance? Alright, first up we're going to talk about the Vizio 43 inch 4K. Model number for this is E43U D2. So with this one, it's a tuner free home theater display. Uh, it's 42 and a half inches measured diagonally from corner to corner. It does have the Vizio SmartCast app, so you can access available smart content on your home theater display. You just have to download the app to be able to run that, um, and you'll be able to operate your TV settings via the touch screen on your tablet or phone, whichever you prefer. It's got Chromecast built in, LED displays perform well in all lighting conditions, so no matter what angle you're looking at it, it's definitely going to be breathtaking. Uh, it does have the 2160p resolution, so you're going to be able to watch movies in 4K at four, four times the resolution of full HD and upscale your current HD content to Ultra HD level picture quality. Um, it, the other cool thing about it, it does have a 120 hertz refresh rate, so you'll be able to enjoy fast moving movies, sports, video games with a minimum of motion blur. The smart display delivers a huge world of entertainment, so you can stream movies, videos, music, and more. 
Uh, the audio is definitely a banger because it has two 10 watt speakers and DTS studio sound. You also have four HDMI inputs for the best home theater connection. The high speed HDMI delivers up to 2160p picture and digital surround sound and one convenient cable. The HDMI cable oftentimes is not included. So it kind of depends where you get it from. Sometimes it's included, sometimes it's not. Now, second up is the Toshiba 43 inch. Now this one has very similar specs. You know, it's 42 and a half inches measured diagonally from corner to corner. It has Chromecast built in as well. You know, another LED TV, so no matter what area you look at it, it's gonna be sharp. So it's also running 2160p resolution. So 4K videos, movies, gaming, uh, the resolution will run at four times the resolution of full HD. It upscales your current HD content to, you know, gorgeous Ultra HD level quality. It provides a fast and reliable streaming with Wi-Fi, so you can run at four, the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz bandwidth. Actually, both can run at either or. And it also has two 10 watt main channel speakers. Uh, it also has the three HDMI inputs, so you can get the high speed HDMI. 2160 picture, digital surround sound, and one community cable, as well as 168 degrees, 178 degree horizontal and vertical viewing angles, and which provide a clear picture for viewers seated near the side of the screen. So it's never going to really be distorted. You also can manage the viewing experience for your kids. It has a built in VCHIP, which lets you block content based on program ratings and check ratings. Unfamiliar programming, and you can enjoy a crisp detailed picture, 25, 250 CD slash M squared brightness, and a millisecond response time from those sharp, highly visible images. And you also have one USB input, so you can easily connect your camera, digital camera, camcorder, other USB devices to work with it. Now, for me, I like the fact that both they both actually have. The USB input. Now I'm going to look at the pros and cons of both. Uh, for me, one of the things I am not really a fan of when it comes to the Toshiba is the fact that you only have three HDMI inputs and the refresh rate on it is going to be about 60 hertz. And that's kind of frustrating for me. Um, as most of the games I play, I want to run them at 120 up to 240 hertz and it just doesn't have the capability of running games at that resolution or any content at that resolution. You'll see definitely blurriness in a lot of action movies or games. Now the bonus of it is you do have the remote that has the capability of you know, changing settings and whatnot. And it's just a traditional remote. Now on the side of the Vizio, while I love it, that pictures is amazing, I love the fact that you know, runs at 120 hertz refresh rate. It's just the fact that you're stuck using your smartphone as your remote. And if you want to use the standard remote, you won't be able to change out the settings or anything. That's, to me, that's just super frustrating. I'm just not a fan of that. I don't like the fact that I'm going to have to download the Vizio SmartCast app to be able to change you know, my brightness, contrast, sharpness, I want to change the output of the sound. To me, it's just fresh. It's just frustrating. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. And those, that, that's just one of the things that just frustrates me with this phone, with this TV, that phone. So, yeah. When it comes down to it, in my opinion, if you're looking for, if you're gaming, definitely go with the Vizio. If you're all content, go with the Toshiba. And the fact that both of them are at the same price point of $399.99, either way you can't go wrong. And that just about wraps up this video. So which one do I think is a better uh, 4K TV to get for your budget? Really comes down to whether you're more comfortable using your smartphone and an app to control the Vizio one, or if you're like me and you prefer having, you know, a dedicated remote to be able to manually edit everything. Just because sometimes it's not convenient having the smartphone app, uh, say your phone's dying, you need to change the volume. I mean, 
you know, or the different picture settings. You want to increase the brightness. You want to make the sharpness of the contrast higher or lower, or you want to change it from dynamic to vivid to, you know, standard to, you know, any other different setting. It's just, in my opinion, I find it a little inconvenient to have to just rely upon the app to do everything I can natively do with just a remote. But that may be different in your case, you know? You never know. It could, it, it very may, very may, very may well be. Who knows? Anyway, um, for me, I find the Toshiba to be the better value. Um, I even though it only has three HDMI ports um, and it doesn't have the optical input, to me, it's just the fact that it has a physical remote and. I like having my remotes to control my devices. Um, the Vizio does have four inputs, which I really like. It does actually produce a slightly sharper image, um, but I'm just not a fan of using, you know, my smartphone. And oftentimes you have to get the app, and I'm I'm just not, you know, I'm not a fan of that. I, I want my remote to just do everything that I want it to do. So. Um, why don't you guys tell me what you think? Go ahead and post your comments below. Uh, if you guys like this video, if you have any suggestions, you want me to do a different comparison or this or that, then let me know. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down, but articulate why you didn't like the video, what I could improve upon, and you know what things you took away from it. All right, so as always, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe if you liked it. If you didn't, I already told you what to do. Uh, this is your boy Mikhail Casanova. I'm signing out. As always, have a good one. Stay crispy. Deuces as well. I'm out. Have a good one. Everybody drinks on me. Everybody in this bitch drink for free. Give me a whiskey double. A little bit of deck is always trouble. And I'm feeling good. Like the man with only eight to prove a reason's wood. Next up, straight to the DJ. Tell him play whatever song she say. Her body is a misdemeanor.